Thank you. Let me tell you now about me, my stepfather. Right, my stepfather is another one in the family of headbangers, right? Now, my step, my mother married again, you see, after my dad died, and he's a smashing bloke. He's really, we've got a great relationship. We always got on very well. But the trouble is, he's Polish, you see, and he came over to fight with the Free Polish Army in the Second World War, and met my mum and all the rest of it. But we all understand him in the family, all my brothers and sisters and me, because we understand him, therefore. He's never bothered to learn to speak English proper as how I do, you know what I mean? <laughs> and this has led to a lot of problems. And he was coming home from work once in this car he had. He had got a Hillman Super Minx, right? And it was clapped out, absolutely clapped out, it was. He used to go down our road so slow that tortoises used to run out of back entries, jump on it, give it one, roll off and go away again. <laughs> And every so often the car would get broody and start making nests out of newspapers in the garage. <laughs> then it'd lay all these little German helmets that were running around in the back. <laughs> so my dad's driving home from work and he's there at Trafford Park waiting to go out onto one of the avenues there, waiting for the lights to change. And the car started to boil over. So this bloke came out of the way, you know, with the big grid outside. And he came out and said, what's up, Lou? My dad said, how I buggery know what buggery is buggery up with the buggery car? He said, I buggery step and buggery car, brum, 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 then buggery steam fly, buggery out, and buggery no go. And he said, oh, he said, let's have a look. He said, uh, lift your bonnet up. So my dad took his hat off, you know, he said, <laughs> I said no. I said, no. Uh, he said, undo your front. So my dad went like that. And he, said, he said, no, no. He said, let's have a look inside. He said, and he looked, he said, well, you see, Lou, what you've got? He said, you've got a cracked radiator. So my dad says, what's this buggery making mean, buggery crack lady? <laughs> he says, look, don't move. I'll do, I'll, I'll fix it for you, I'll get you home. He's running, he came out with a raw egg. Now this actually works. You can use this yourself if you ever get a crack in your radiator. It will get you home. The bloke said, now Lou, this is only a temporary measure, but it'll get you home. Because you crack an egg into your radiator and it'll boil it, I don't even know this, but boil the egg and it'll jam it in the crack and it'll seal it up enough to get home. So the fella says, it'll get you home, temporary measure, crack. <laughs> My dad says, what are you making buggery do? You're feeding the buggery car. <laughs> You're feeding the buggery car. He said, I'm not feeding the car. He said, that'll get you home. It'll jam in solid. He said, and you'll be all right. He said, but it's only a temporary measure. Now, this is God's honest truth. My dad did not know the meaning of the words temporary measure. And I swear this is true. For three months after that, he got up every morning and cracked an egg into the radio. <laughs> right? It's true. Three months later, he's driving through Manchester, rush hour, half past five, traffic, nose to tail, jammed in. Albert Square, eight lanes of traffic, all side by millions of cars. He's at the traffic lights, they're going to green, puts it into get nothing. Steam, wheels collapse, boom, smoke, that's it. <laughs> Up come the bogeys from Brutal Street. No, 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 they come in. Policeman gets off his bike, walks round. As he's walking around the front of the car, he notices that the tax disc is a Guinness label stuck on the windscreen. <laughs> Well, my dad thought the car doesn't earn any money, why should it pay tax, you know? <laughs> and as he's walking around again, he notices also that the tread on the tyres has been drawn on with a magic marker. <laughs> so he comes round to... He comes round to the side and he says to me, Dad, right, he said, uh, you mind getting out, sir? Mind your window down? So my dad took the window off and put it on the side. <laughs> He said, just before you get out, he said, uh, try your handbrake, please. He said, pull the handbrake on, the washer started going. You know. <laughs> he said, press the on, he pressed his own light and all the lights came on, flashed, wipers, all of it. He said, right, he said, uh, just get out, sir. Dad climbed through the door like. <laughs> he said, now, he said, taking out his notebook, he said, I must warn you, he said, you do not have to say anything, but anything you say may be taken down and used in evidence against you in a court of law. Now, exactly what happened? Me dad says, how I buggery know what buggery making buggery. <laughs> It's buggery traffic lights, I buggery coming home, it's buggery red. I buggery stop, it's no buggery go because it's buggery red. It's buggery yellow, I still no buggery go. It's buggery green, I no buggery go because the buggery car is buggery buggery, it's no buggery stop. <laughs> buggery bank smoke, it's buggery steam finish. The copper put his notebook away, he thought I'll be up all night with this fellow. Not... <laughs> he said, right, let's get you going, you can bugger off into Salford, let them do you. Come on. <laughs> so... He said... He said, right, he said, uh, lift your bonnet off. So my dad went like this. 
Let's have a look inside. So he looked in, lifted the... He could not believe it. This copper looked, he could not believe his eyes. There was poached egg everywhere. <laughs> I was full of poached egg. <laughs> he said, it's not broken down, it's egg-bound, this bunny. <laughs> <laughs> 